I'm just about to pour a silicon mould of the master that I made in the last vlog. The idea at this stage is to use that mould to cast some copies in a, in a lightweight resin so I can test out different joints and combinations of that without going to the trouble of completely sculpting a layer and finishing it only to find out that it's a bit of a dud. The mould box I'm using is really a bit of a work in itself to be honest. But the main reason for this is to kind of reduce the amount of silicon that I use which is the most expensive part of the process. To make the mold box or jacket, I cut some 18 mil MDF into rectangles that were roughly about twice the size of the layer. Then using some modeling clay, I stuck the body into its position on one of the pieces of MDF. To mark out or enlarge the profile, I cut down some washing machine hose that had been lying around and used a, a pencil to trace around the outline. This gave me something like a quarter of an inch gap all around. And at the area that was going to be the top, I kind of sketched out a wider mouth to help me pour in the silicon. On one of the other pieces of MDF, I laid out some double-sided tape and then stuck my marked out piece on top of it. Then it was over to the bandsaw to cut out the central section. Because I knew I was going to have to separate these pieces in use, I fished around and found some round nails to make some locating pins. I ground the ends to a smooth cone and sawed the heads off. To give me the correct depth, I went a little over the thickness of the 18mm MDF. I could then just mount that in the chuck using the mark. Then it was just a case of drilling through the top piece into the bottom. And I repeated this to add another pin in the opposite corner. With the double-sided tape removed, I cut the nails down to the mark and then pushed them into place, adding a little bit of super glue just to secure them. At this point, I used some force in the bits to add some undercuts to one side. These are going to help me later hold the silicon into the mould jacket. Then I split them apart again and on one side added some glue, another backing piece and a clamp. On the other side, I used a spacer piece to protect the pins and then added the glue, the backing piece and another clamp. To prepare the body to go into the mould, I'd spent a bit of time a few days ago just polishing it up with some emery cloth and also a cotton mop. Then I marked and drilled out some holes on the centre line to take some thin stainless steel wire. Once I'd fitted these, I could lay the body back in the mould using a bit of super glue as a temporary fix. I also added a small triangle of MDF to the top. And then using a sharpie, I could just mark the positions of the wire. To create a little recess to accept these wires, I used a, a block of wood and a 12 inch hacksaw blade just to cut out a little channel. I went back over them with the marker to really get some pigment on and then press the other side of the mould on top. This was really just enough to transfer that black mark onto the other side and then I could just repeat and cut out the channels on the other side. To give the mould a bit of protection and maybe extend its life, I gave it a coat of acrylic varnish and then just left it to dry for a few hours. To measure the volume of silicon I'd need to put into the jacket and mould, I reassembled it with the layer inside and then filled it up with some millet. I poured this back into a cup and was a little generous when I made the mark. The final job was to add a sprue channel to the layer and I did this by rolling up some modelling clay. I flattened one of the ends off and cut it to give me the right angle for it to rise vertically. Then warming it with a kitchen lighter, I'd stuck it into place. Then it was just a case of cleaning that joint up before reassembling the mould. So I measured out my silicon using that mark I'd made and also added enough catalyst to suit. And now really I'm just filling that cavity. When this is complete, I'm going to move that to a, a paint pressure pot um, and give it about probably 50 PSI and that should flatten any bubbles that I've included in the silicon. Then of course it's just waiting for it to cure. Cool. 
So my mold turned into a, a bit of a disaster really. I had a little tiny air leak on my tank and normally the compressor would kick in uh, and kind of compensate for that, but somebody decided to turn it off for me. So the air expanded in the silicon and, and basically destroyed the mold surface before it cured. I then kind of got waylaid with other projects and ended up making a, a film and a, and a wardrobe from plywood with my wife, which I'll post a link to that video, which is on a separate channel we've started. Uh, back with the mold, I kind of started again and making the casing as, as well. And this time I used a plumbing fitting, which gave me a slightly wider, probably about 11 or 12 mil gap around the layer. After I've refilled it with silicon and pressure cast it again, um, to open it, I did something slightly different, which is to use a, a key knife that I'd made. To make that blade, I took a Stanley knife and heated the, the tip up to cherry red to anneal it or soften the metal. And then with some jewelry pliers, I put a kind of notch in very close to the tip of the blade. To harden it again, I heated it back up to cherry red and then dropped it in some water quickly to quench it. To use it, I stuck it to a piece of wood with some super glue leaving about 10 mil back from the edge of the blade. Then I could hold this flat on one side of the mold and just gently work my way round, making sure it didn't break out of the side. Then to put the parting line in, I went back with a flat Stanley blade uh, and just cut away the rest of the silicon. That combination of the notch and using the ordinary Stanley knife blade should give me a pretty clean parting line, but we'll see how we get on. So to use the mold, I'm mixing up some two-part polyurethane resin. This is feather light and it's already got a, a lightweight filler added to make the layer float. So I've prepped the mold by closing it with some masking tape and also put it in the pressure tank ready. To fill it, I'm going to use a, a syringe and just pump the resin in just under slight pressure. And then obviously close the pot. So to transform that blank body into a kind of usable but rough prototype uh, is a journey I think I'm going to come back to on another video. Um, but today I'm just on, on my way down to a local park lake just to give it a test and see if I can get some kind of swimming action out of it. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share or leave a comment. I'm also running a Patreon campaign if you'd like to take a step further and support the channel with an ongoing donation. To see more handmade fisherman videos, click on the channel link or subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.